Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great. And I also hope that you have gone through my previous video on chapter 1. And uh, I've got few comments on that. Please do comment. In any case, if you have missed the video, I will be giving uh, giving the link in the description box. Please do check it. Well children today we are back with the second chapter that is the latitudes and longitudes now we will uh, learn today what is meant by latitudes and longitude let me tell you first that both these are actually imaginary lines drawn on the surf drawn on the surface of the earth so both are what they are the imaginary lines drawn on the surface of the earth so you may ask me ma'am what is their purpose or what purpose do they solve so the latitudes and the longitude precisely give us or determine the location of any particular place on the earth surface so in order to look at a particular place or to know the location of any particular area or landmark or whatever it is we need the help of latitudes and longitude more precisely the latitudes give us the location of any particular place and the longitudes give us or help us to determine the or to calculate the time of any particular place or region all right so in terms of location we can uh, divide it into two different or divide it into two different subtypes the first is relative location and the second is is absolute location relative location is something when we talk about a particular location in uh, reference to other location suppose uh, take an example that if if you want to uh, you know uh, describe the location of your school in describing so what you can say my school is you know near the madhupur moor if you cross madhupur moor on left hand side you will just walk a little and then our school will be on the right hand side so when you are describing something giving description of any particular location in relation to some other point or reference then we call it a relative location on the other hand absolute location tell us the exact position where a place is located on the surface of the earth so uh, suppose i ask you uh, where is your home you will definitely tell me the your address your home address right or suppose someone wants to know where is the uh, pto or where is the post office so you will of course give him the exact location so in in case of exact location uh, you describe the location um, the exact point where the that particular place is located now while locating places on the earth a globe actually help us okay a globe has an axis now what is this axis it is again an imaginary line that run through run through the north pole and the south pole okay the earth has two different poles on both the sides just like a balloon has one the upper end and one lower end just like that the earth has two uh, two point one the upper point and the and the other one is the lower point the upper point is north pole the lower point is south pole now this particular imaginary line runs through the north pole and the south pole but it is not a straight line it is tilted or it is it is not straight okay so it has an it has a particular angle and by making that angle it crosses both the poles 
all right the equator is an imaginary line that divides the earth into two equal halves now if you imagine a uh, an orange an orange okay it's it's kind of flat on both the ends and uh, it it is you know bulging near the uh, middle portion so imagine earth as an orange if you cut the orange into two equal halves from the middle the upper part that you get we call it the northern hemisphere and the lower part is southern hemisphere the middle part through which we are cutting the orange will be equator so just like that equator is also an imaginary line that cuts the earth into two different halves okay now now we will see what is a latitude the imaginary lines in each hemisphere drawn parallel to the equator up to the pole is called parallels of latitude so what is uh, latitudes they of course are imaginary lines and just now i had talked about the equator so the latitudes are drawn parallelly you know how to draw parallel lines isn't it so when we draw the other lines just like the equator following the equator upward and downward those lines will be called parallels of latitude as they are placed parallelly from each other they are called so okay they are measured in degrees and the starting point for measuring the degrees of latitude is the equator so we take the equator as 0 degree once we move towards the north pole we start from 0 to 90 and in the southern part or the southern hemisphere again 0 to 90 that makes northern hemisphere 90 latitudes and southern hemisphere total 90 latitudes so total how many latitudes we have 180 latitudes okay now now we will see the equator is also called the great circle or it is the longest latitude as we move northward or southward from it the latitude decreases in size and they become a point in the both the poles you can see very clearly from the picture that the widest part of the earth is near the equator isn't it the middle portion so once we and as we move towards the pole the latitudes the size of the latitudes become very small and smaller and smallest and they become uh, two points in both uh, one point in the northern north pole and one point in the south one point as south pole okay we have four major latitudes what are they tropic of cancer at 23 and a half degree north tropic of capricorn at 23 and a half degree south Arctic Circle 66 and a half degree north and Antarctic Circle 66 and a half degree south. Now we will see what are longitudes. Longitudes are also known as meridians or they are also the imaginary lines that run from the north pole to the south pole. So uh, just few minutes back you have learned about uh, the latitudes which we uh, which are drawn parallelly to the equator northward and southward in case of longitude the lines are not parallel to each other but they run from north pole to south pole all right so they are numbered like latitudes they are also numbered like the latitudinal lines according to an international agreement the longitude passing through the royal observatory at greenwich in england united kingdom is accepted as the prime meridian okay or the zero degree longitude the prime meridian is the starting point for measuring longitudes and other lo- longitudes um, me- measuring longitudes other longitudes are drawn to the east and uh, west of the prime meridian so the prime meridian or the med meridian which uh, passed uh, which uh, which passes through the greenwich in london is taken as the zero degree longitude and in reference to that particular longitude we, uh, the other longitudes are drawn all right and these are the meridians of longitude to the east of the prime meridian are numbered uh, from 
वन डिग्री ईस्ट अप टू वन एटी डिग्री ईस्ट सिमिलरली द मेरेडियंस ऑफ लॉन्गिट्यूड ड्रॉन टू द वेस्ट ऑफ द प्राइम मेरेडियन आर नंबर फ्रॉम वन डिग्री वेस्ट अप टू वन एटी डिग्री वेस्ट सो द मेरेडियंस आर लार्जर इन नंबर टोटल थ्री सिक्सटी मेरेडियंस आर देर और हैव बिन ड्रॉन वेर एस देर आर ओनली वन एटी वन लैटिट्यूड्स इंक्लूडिंग द इक्वेटर so if you are asked to give the di- difference between the latitudes and longitudes your points will be the latitudes are drawn from you know you know in an east west direction following uh, you know making parallel to the equator in both the hemisphere and the whereas the longitudes are uh you know not parallel lines they run from they run north to east and there there are and the third one will be there are 180 number of latitudes drawn on the earth surface whereas there are 360 number of uh, longitudes all right now now we will see the prime meridian 2 divides the earth into two equal halves till now we have seen that the it was equator or the um, great circle which divided the earth into two equal halves that is the northern northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere now we will see the prime meridian uh, which is the 0 degree meridian also divides the earth into two equal parts the area between 0 degree longitude and 180 degree east is called the eastern hemisphere and the area between 0 to 180 degree west is called the western hemisphere the way they are numbered in that way they have been divided into two equal hemisphere the 180 degree east and the 180 degree west are the same longitude and is known as the 180 degree or the international date line so the 180 degree east and west are considered as one single line which is also known as the international date line the distance between two longitude is maximum at the equator the distance decreases as we move towards the pole where the longitudes meet okay so the distance between the two longitude is maximum near the equator and if we move towards the pole they become uh, eventually a point all right now we will see that how with the help of these latitudes and longitude we can actually find out uh, the location of a particular place with which we had started the chapter finding a particular location so it is uh, it is told that longitudes and latitudes criss cross each other to form a network of lines called the grids okay or they are also called the global grids the point in the grid where latitudes and longitude intersect each other is called the coordinate coordinates help us to locate any place or point on earth so the place where a latitude has crossed one longitude and vice versa that particular intersection point is termed as coordinates and based on this coordinates we find the location of the um of any particular place on the earth all right for your convenience one picture has been given children just see there are different places and they are um, the the lines that are from the east to west they are like the parallels of latitude and from the north to east they are like the meridians of longitude so their intersection point can be taken as the reference point All right like in the map the columns are labeled on the top with the letters a b c d and the rows are labeled as 1 2 3 4 so ravi's house is located in the grid square formed in a and row 4 the name of the grid box or the square will be a4 similarly makhija hospital is located at b2 so just like that so when we try to find out the location we have to take the reference of the latitudes and longitude that is the reason we have taken reference of these imaginary lines which are very helpful to us so that was all about the chapter children where you have learned about the definitions of latitude and longitude 
prior to that you have seen what do we called uh, what, what do we what is a location or um, what is absolute location what is relative location you know the, uh, both the examples then we have moved to the uh, latitudes longitudes individually now you also know their differences what is prime meridian what is international date line why the um, equator is called the great circle like this and next lastly we have seen what is a grid or global grid what are coordinates and how with an example we can show the different uh, coordinates for a particular place i hope you like the video and if you really liked it please uh, like it and uh, subscribe and share with your friends uh, those who are new to my channel i would request you to subscribe my channel if you want to see a sneak peek into the first chapter of um, the earth surface i will give you the link in the description box all right i'll be back with the next chapter very soon till then take care